Ergoflex is pleased to present our industrial manipulators. This first application you see is a company that is using our equipment to pull shells from a preheat furnace and load them into a vacuum chamber of a vacuum furnace. You can see the operator is reaching into the box furnace, gripping the part, pulling it out, rotating it 180 degrees, and then loading it into the vacuum chamber. There's a very long extension on this tool. It's actually eight feet long. The reason is because the box furnace is outside the building and there's an extended reach that's required. They close the chamber and pour the metal. This is another view of the same operation. You can see they just crack the door of the box furnace open, reach in, grip the part, lift it, pull it out, roll it over through hydraulic power, 180 degrees. They insert a, a cup there and then load it into the vacuum chamber. Close the door, of course, and pour the metal. This is a short one, but it shows a direct pour application. You can see the operator is pulling a hot shell out of the box furnace, turning around, and pouring metal directly into the hot shell. Then the operator places the poured mold in a rack and repeats the process. You can see this machine is a floor mounted stationary unit. It also has an extension tool to reach into a box furnace. This next application is one of pouring metal. This machine is actually mounted on an overhead trolley, but it is positioned in a location that permits them to reach most all of the areas they need to reach in this particular application. You can see the operator just filled a crucible or a transfer ladle from the melt furnace and he's pouring the molds on a sandbox. Others are bringing the hot shells to the area where he can pour. You can see the operator is pouring two shells with one ladle. You'll see he's going to repeat the process. until he depletes the entire melt. This particular company dramatically increased their productivity after installing our ErgoFlex manipulator. They increased their shell size by approximately 25% and hence increased their productivity and production by that same amount without performing any more pours that can be done as well. Here you see another company they just loaded a preheated crucible into the tool holder and they're reaching under a hood to fill the ladle from a, vac from a melt furnace. This machine is also mounted on an overhead trolley, you'll see in a moment.
this company tends to locate the trolley in a single position when pouring from a specific melt furnace and then move the trolley to different locations for different melt furnaces. This company saw a dramatic increase in their product quality and a great reduction in scrap, largely because of the consistency of which the operator was to pour metal. This is another Since view of the same installation at the same company. It's a view from above where you can see the trolley a little bit better and the runway rails. It's obvious to note that there are a number of melt furnaces in a line and the ErgoFlex manipulator can be positioned in front of each of those for the different pouring operations. Like manufacturers, manipulators in many different sizes and configurations. Reach radiuses will range from approximately 6 feet up to 12 feet. Shows a direct pouring application. The operator goes into the preheat furnace to grab a shell. He has a hydraulically powered gripper to grip the part around the neck of the cup, then manually rolls it over, takes it to the melt furnace where it's filled, still holding it in the gripper. Then he places it in the sand and leaves it to cool. This is another view of the same application. Once again, the operator is going into the furnace, grabbing the shell while it's cupped down. Grips it, lifts it, manually rolls it over. Takes it to the melt furnace and fills. This concludes our demonstrations. Thank you.